Hello and welcome to Overdrive. This is Rohit Paradkar and today we are going to talk about the 2021 Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 and the Continental GT 650. Of course, this is not the 2021 model. Now, the primary changes for the 2021 model are new colorways, but this colorway, the Orange Crush and the Baker Express, both these colors have been carried forward into 2021 given their popularity. But why I'm showing this motorcycle right at the start is because I want to draw your attention to two details. Let's take a look at the wheels. Now, you can see that it has that satin finish on the wheels. You also have these gray mud guards, and these wheels are shot with the Pirelli Phantom Sport Comp tires. Now, why I'm drawing your attention to these is because those are what have changed on the 2021 model alongside the new colorways. So, let's quickly go take a look at what's new in the 2021 model. Well then, so this is the updated 2021 Interceptor 650. Now, like I said, uh, we have new wheels here. They now get this black combination. And if you look at the rubber, it's the SEAT Zoom Cruise. Now, this is a model that we've seen uh, earlier on the Meteor as well, uh, but at the rear. And if you look at the pattern, it is fairly different, still has a bit of that old school uh, thread pattern to it. It's not like the sportier new tires that you get on some of the rivals of Royal Enfield motorcycles. But this is what is new. Now you also see a black mudguard and this will now be standard. This black, black mudguard and the black wheel will be standard on all the variations of the Interceptor 650. But like I said, there are new colorways and what you see here is called the Sunset Strip. It's basically highlighted by these warm color tones that you see right at the bottom. So it's largely a black color motorcycle uh, with contrasting accents in gold and red and it's called the Sunset Strip. Now of course there is also a multitude of uh, new accessory options that you get under Royal Enfield's make it yours program so you can also opt uh, this motorcycle you can specify this motorcycle right at the time of ordering with a touring seat you can also have a ribbed seat design uh, very different than what we've seen previously on uh, the Conti GT but you can also have that uh, ribbed seat design something similar to what we've recently seen on the CB350 RS so you can have that kind of a seat if you want this here is the touring seat and you can specify this seat right at the time of ordering which is a very good thing you also have uh, other accessories like the fly screen the mirrors we've seen this before as well and now you can specify all these accessories right at the time of ordering now one thing that is missed however is the console doesn't get the tripper module we are all hoping to get the tripper module with this update in fact, even the aftermarket uh, fitment for the chipper module for the Interceptor or the Conti GT650, uh, it's still not available, it's still uh, not here. So we don't know when it's going to come out. Uh, we were told that it's going to be out in April. So that's still a month to go. So let's hope that the module comes out. But unfortunately, right now you don't get it. What you get on the instrumentation is the same layout as before. You get the tachometer, the speedometer, and that little digital display for the fuel and the trip computers so nothing has really changed there but this particular section now you can also get a different cover if you want uh, that's again a part of the MIY program so this will be completely covered and will have the Royal Enfield lettering on it so if you want that is one more addition uh, that you get as a part of the accessory package Well and this ladies and gentlemen is the new 2021 Continental GT. I'm already loving it in red. Well the, the chrome is obviously my favorite color but I think now with the presence of this red option I think this is my new favorite. Uh, it's got a lot of history, a lot of heritage, a lot of legacy. In fact 
there's a little poster here which will show you what it is all about uh, you, you had the Continental GT in 64 you also had a Conti GT in 2013 the 535 and this essentially is the signature color for the Conti GT it's called the rocker red and now it's available even on the Conti GT 650 so it's not overdone that's what I like about it uh, only the tank has been done up in uh, red the side panels are still black you get the white racing stripes and I think they are executed rather well in fact Royal Enfield always makes sure that the paint quality is good and the pinstriping is good and the factory finish is always going to or usually going to look better than what you would get in the aftermarket so I think it looks really nice uh, like I pointed out on the interceptor you get a black mudguard and black wheels and the same Seat Zoom Cruise F tires no tripper module here either and though some of you might argue that uh, you know you may not require a tripper module on a Conti GT it's not really a tourer uh, well it's a nice feature to have it's a nice module to have since it pairs with Google Maps so even in the city when you're commuting in the city it's a good feature to have so no change here either same instruments as the Interceptor 650 you get a tachometer a speedometer and a digital display for the fuel and the trip data uh, this one is accessorized of course uh, it has the fly screen it has the bar and mirrors it's got the engine guard and there are other options available as well so like I said uh, this is the stock seat pattern this is not the rib seat pattern the rib seat has a slightly better cushioning uh, is what it at least looks like uh, from the uh, uh, from the from the catalog for the make it yours program this is with the touring seat uh, but you can get the rip seat as well uh, it will just add a little bit more sportiness to the overall uh, look of the motorcycle in terms of the comfort i don't expect a lot of change but i'll not say much about it until and unless i've actually compared the two seats i'm not sure if that's going to happen but yeah if you get a chance to compare them we would uh, also this tells you that you can have the cowl on top of course that cowl is also available in various colors various different finishes uh, that is again something that you can customize in the make it yours program along with some other accessories for the motorcycle so this is what the motorcycle is all about i'm waiting to get a ride on it but like i said there is no change mechanically to the engine the chassis to the suspension all of that is carried forward it's only the colors and the few little changes that i showed you with the wheels and tires that you get on the updated 2021 conti gt and the interceptor 650. So how are these new 650s to ride? Well, not very different. The 650cc parallel twin engine was always a smooth operator with a relatively quick rev buildup, easy tractability for city use and a fairly good mid-range performance for highway use. The BSX iteration went even smoother while retaining all the likeable characteristics of the original, but the engine does sound a bit muted now. I really hope for better riding ergonomics on the Interceptor as a rider triangle feels a bit awkward as before. Installing a set of handlebar risers and turning the bars a little bit towards the rider usually solves the problem for most riders though. The ergonomics of the Continental GT are nice and sporty as before but still leave you wanting for a slightly larger tank to grip nicely onto but it isn't a big complaint. I would have liked a firmer seat though as the touring seat on our test bike felt squishy while cornering or taking turns. Speaking of turns, the new Seat tyres are actually pretty good. Even with the fairly new motorcycles that we had at hand with tyres that weren't broken in, the grip felt confident. The older Pirellis often took time to come up to heat and felt skittish on concrete surfaces but the Seats don't quite display those kind of shortcomings. To sum it up then, this 2021 update doesn't sound very convincing. The tripper module should have been included, considering that the cheaper Meteor already gets it, and basic new age stuff like Bluetooth connectivity ought to have been developed by now, considering that the 650 twins are now dearer by about 6 to 7,000 rupees, despite slapping on a set of cheaper tires. But if you have been waiting to buy yourself the Interceptor or the Continental GT and you don't care much about connectivity options, 
then the 2021 update should impress you with its new range of color options. My pick would be the Mark II Chrome and the Rocker Red on the Interceptor and the GT respectively. Do let us know what do you think about this update. Was color options the only thing that was necessary or is this a bit of a wasted opportunity? Let us know in the comment section below.